Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 7 raised to the power x minus 7 minus 7 raised to the power y minus 7 equals to 2400. From here, we can apply the law of indices from a raised to the power m minus n. This equals to a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n. Then from here, when we write that in that format, this will become 7 raised to the power x divided by 7 raised to the power 7, then minus 7 raised to the power y divided by 7 raised to the power 7 equals to 2400. And uh, in the next step, we can find the LCM on this side, and the LCM here is 7 raised to the power 7. And we have 7 raised to the power 7 goes in 7 raised to the power 7. That's 1. 1 times 7 raised to the power x. That is 7 raised to the power x. Then minus. Also here we have 7 raised to the power y. Which is equal to 2400. Then in the next step, we remove this 7 raised to the power 7 by multiplying both sides. By 7 raised to the power 7. Or in the same way, we cross multiply. See having the same thing. So we have 7 raised to the power x minus 7 raised to the power y will now be equal to 7 raised to the power 7 multiplied by 2400. Then from here, we, we should understand here that 7 raised to the power x is greater than 7 raised to the power y. Because for us to have a positive number here that means 7 raised to the power x is greater than 7 raised to the power y then we can see here that x is greater than y the x here is of course greater than y now then we can write x as y plus a number so we can say x will now be y plus a constant k where k is any integer so k where k here is any integer, then the equation can become this equation now becomes 7 raised to the power x, which is now 7 raised to the power y plus k. So we have 7 raised to the power y plus k now, then minus 7 raised to the power y will now be equal to 7 raised to the power 7 times. 2400. Then, when we solve this product from here, we also apply the law of indices. We separate this and we have 7 raised to the power y multiplied by 7 raised to the power k minus 7 raised to the power y equals to 7 raised to the power 7 times 2400. Then, from here, we have 7 raised to the power y common. So let's take 7 raised to the power y out and we have 7 raised to the power y into bracket 7 raised to the power k minus 1 when we divide by 7 raised to the power y. <coughs> then from here we equals to 7 raised to the power 7 times 2400. Then from here we can equate 7 raised to the power y to 7 raised to the power 7 and 7 raised to the power k minus 1 to 2400. And uh, here we now have 7 raised to the power y equals to 7 raised to the power 7. Then on this side we have 7 raised to the power k minus 1. This equals to 2400. Then we have 7 on the base here, yeah, 7 on the base here. Yeah. The base are equal, we quit the power. So here y is equal to 7. And on this side we can take. Minus 1 to this side become plus. So we have 7 raised to the power k equals to 2401. And also 2401 can be written as a number in base 7. So that's 7 raised to the power k now equals to 7 raised to the power 4. Then from here as well, we have the base equal. So the power should be equal. So k equals to 4. Then 
from the equation that we have that is x equals to y plus k we have x equals to y plus k then we can find the value of x by substituting the value of y and k here so we now have x equals to 7 plus 4 and here x is equals to 11 so we have the value of x to be equal to 11 and the value of y to be equal to 7. thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell on see you in the next class and bye for now